annual Emmys went down last night and the red carpet was a sizzling. I don't have anything to say, let's just start. <laughs> this is Dirty Laundry. Millie Bobby Brown. M double B at the Emmys. <laughs> Millie Bobby Brown always shows up to every single car, but I think it's just in Hollywood, it's a known given fact that Millie Bobby Brown has to be there. And every single time she looks so cute. Was she nominated for anything or is she just like the life of the party? Now? Who cares? Here's the thing I love about Millie. There's a lot of things I love. First off, she's definitely she like a fashion icon. She's never like biting off other people's trends. She's always doing her own thing. And she's also so age appropriate. Yeah. She's not like, look how sexy I'm trying to be right now. She's her little kitten heels. She's so cute. She can make kitten heels look good. You know she's winning. That's true. Millie Barbie Brown looks like a Disney princess IRL. Like I'm obsessed with this off the shoulder dress. I she's love it. ultra chic, ultra classic, ultra fabulous. She nailed this look. It's I love also the so pastel age shoes too. appropriate. Mm -hmm. And I love this dress because it has a practical use as well. You can definitely smuggle someone into the party <laughs> underneath the dress and or then smuggle snacks. food out of it. Exactly. See, we're here. We're here. She looks so cute. I yes. love her hair. I love her little bows on her shoulders. Mm -hmm. She looks like she's from like the 1930s and she's listening to the jukebox. I do appreciate that she's like, her style is very classic and it doesn't make her look older than she is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Very age appropriate. And she also is like always dancing and, and she doesn't dance that well, so I can relate. <laughs> this looks amazing. She reminds me of like Mrs. Potts. But in oh, a good way. That's so good. Yeah. I figured like a really young Mary Poppins. Or a cupcake. Oh my god. That could smuggle cupcakes. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Wait, was this the actual shape of the dress or is this like the wind? No, I think that's the this, actual shape. This really was that floofy, huh? Makes me want a cupcake real bad. It does. It's very cupcake-esque, but I really like it actually. It's very Emmys. And you it know? looks like she's having fun. She's like dancing away mm -hmm. on the carpet. Well, it's MBB. You know she always is dancing. <laughs> Look at her old shoes. Look at her old shoes. I know. She looks so really cute. adorable. Oh my god. Wow. I love this dress. She looks like a Victoria's Secret model on her wedding day. I was just gonna say not even a Victoria's Secret model because it's such like a regal gown. Like she just looks royal. Ooh, Ooh. Joey King. This is beautiful actually, I really like this. She looks like a princess. Yeah, she really does. You know, it's one of those dresses that you just, when you like look at it on a hanger, mm -hmm. you're not sure if you could ever like truly commit to wearing something like this, but then you see it on a carpet and I actually think it was the perfect choice for her. Okay, oh, the amazing thing about this God. is she went with Zach Posen, the very sexy and successful mm -hmm. uh, fashion designer mm -hmm. who dressed her and it was her first time at the Emmy, so she literally got to just show up, not have to worry about anything, and her sexy day dressed her. She's gonna be opening the Tool booth after yes. this. Like no more kissing booth because this is what <laughs> Tool dreams are made of. It's so this true. is that kind of dress where you just wanna walk Around oh, totally. And just shimmy you just it spin all around. The whole night. She is royalty, elegance, it's so Emmys. Elegant. Here I am, the new Netflix queen. <laughs> Wait, but like, I'm obsessed with it. The color, the stuff, everything. Me too. And I and love her hair color and her makeup. She went to the award show with Zach Posen, who designed the dress. So you know that's oh. when you're actually winning, when the designer loves their creation so much they want to walk the carpet. I mean, with you. look at it. I understand. This is so, so pretty. pretty. Oh my God, she is better dressed than like any adult I know. Why is she spinning and I love it? Because I think you have to in the dress. I think it's like part of the rules if you wear this dress you have to spin. Also like how, I always ask this question, but like hmm. how many people you gotta take to the bathroom with you? Oh, five at least. Like you have to lift all of that up just to like pop a squat, She you was know? a straight up tulip in the bathroom. Yeah, she looks great. Madeline. She's just another classic beauty. You knew Madeline Patch had to show up to the Emmys looking like a million bucks as for you. Her hair is everything. Her hair is everything. She, oh my God. Her makeup is always so understated and it's like it just is, it shows her natural beauty so well. Like she never has to wear a lot of makeup ever. Madeline! Oh, she, that's very, look at her smolder. And I, do, have you noticed that her eyes match her hair? Okay, we get it. Okay, here's what I just realized. She reminds me of like 
a twin or at least a family member of Holland Roden. I can see that. I can see that. A few dresses surprised me at this point in the mm -hmm. Emmys. This dress actually surprised me. It was such an interesting color scheme mm -hmm. with the green and the black and mm -hmm. the gold. She looks so classy, yeah. so put together. I don't know, something about her hair and her skin. Like she just looks like a doll. She looks like a doll. Looks yeah, like a doll. exactly. Like that's not real. What we're looking at right now is doll hair. That's a doll. See, she's a doll. She is absolutely a doll. And also, she showed up with her longtime boyfriend to the Emmys, their first time there as a couple. Just the whole thing is so romantic. Oh, he is hot. Right? But also, here's the thing. Her dress also surprised me, but it's very hard for me to look at anything she's ever wearing because I can't understand how someone that beautiful exists. Oh, you're so sweet. Her face is insane. And I also love the color of her hair and how it complements the green so yes. well in the dress. Redheads have a very tricky job getting dressed because I the dress will completely clash with your coloring mm -hmm. or it will totally make you pop. So true. This pops. Whoa. <laughs> I like, you know what this reminds me of? You know how I'm like, the I'm parachutes? screaming. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. Parachutes, parachutes from, from like school. Yeah, that's literally what I thought at first. I actually don't hate this. This is something uh -oh. that I feel like I would usually be like, what are you doing? But there's something really classy about it, actually. I really she like looks, it. What do you think of Tiffany Haddish's dress? I love her dress. Um, Prabal Garang designed it, actually, but she always wears dresses that commem commemorate her dad. Yeah. And I thought that was really special that yeah. she wanted to commemorate the country that her dad's from. Yeah, like the whole Eritrean flag. It's beautiful, it's fun, and also sometimes people show up at these red carpets and you don't dress like your personality. Mm -hmm. This is her in a nutshell. Exactly, and she looks like, remember when you were in preschool? Like that big... Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 that you yeah, would throw yeah, up in the air. With? That's what she looks like. Oh, Allison Brie. I feel like I, the last time I saw her on a carpet, she was also wearing yellow. I could be making that up though. But yellow has always been Allison Brie's color. It's great. I love the color yellow. And it's not really an easy color to pull off for a lot of it's people. It's not, but it was such like an in color this whole year. Did you notice that? <laughs> this is a mustard. It's not I easy. wasn't talking about myself. Oh, I get I it. I realized. It's not an easy color for people to pull off. So, you know, <laughs> I, so everybody knows <laughs> I, I pulled did. it off. I didn't relax until that. This is a mustard. Mm, okay. Sure. It's a mustard. Sure. No, she looks great in this yellow. I can't believe you just made <laughs> Alison Brie's segment all about <laughs> you and your yellow dress. Chrissy Teigen. <sighs> Sister. Didn't she like just pop out a baby recently? She did also, have you heard? Her name is not Chrissy Teigen. Her name is Chrissy Teigen. She revealed it last night at the Emmys on the carpet that everyone has been saying her name wrong the whole time, but she just like lets them. And she looks very expensive. I dig this. She looks like a sexy, rich senator. Girl, I'll vote for you. What I love about her too is she really owns her curve. She just had a baby recently and she's talked about on Twitter how it's been hard to like get her pre-baby body back, but it doesn't keep her from wearing something yeah. so fitted, so sexy, showing off all of her curves, and I love that about her. So Chrissy Teigen oh looked spectacular no, no, at the no. Emmys last I, night. I can't, I feel like I'm malfunctioning. She what? looks like a statue. What brought it up that she finally revealed that? It was buzzing all over Twitter earlier this week, and she confirmed at the Today Show that yes, her name is Chrissy Teigen. Okay, this looks like a pageant dress to me. This looks oh. like a pageant dress. When I was back doing Miss North Carolina, I would have wanted to wear this dress because it's just like the perfect amount of sexy but also like it covers up all the important parts. Usually you see white looks really good on tan mm -hmm. on like darker skin but she is very like porcelain pale and it just really working for this dress. I love her hair too. It's kind of like I bet you that hair only took like five minutes to do you know and that's what I love about it. I think that's my least favorite part is her hair. Really? Yeah because it looks like it took her five minutes to do. <laughs> I love it! I am obsessed with Yara Shahidi. Yeah. Half black, half Iranian, a beautiful woman mm -hmm. makes. She just looks stunning. She's the perfect combination of like edgy, but also so elegant and classy. Miriam, I hate this dress. What the heck? I did not see that coming. If the state of Florida was a dress, this would be it. Like the pink, We're big flower. We're from Florida, you and I. That's why we can say this. I don't <laughs> like this dress. I love Yara Shahidi. Wow. Didn't like the dress. Pink was a huge color on the carpet this year, which is also why I'm wearing it. Traitor to the dress and to our home state. What am I gonna do with you, Naz? All the bedazzling, that huge like situation in the front, the little train. Do you know nice. what I love? She wore her hair natch and she has her little curly baby hairs. The baby hairs and the hairstyle in general. Definitely my favorite part of it's this look. Yeah, it's probably very soft and poofy. I think 
think she looks beautiful. She looks like, again, very age appropriate, very cute. And thank she's God. She's like glowing. Thank God there was some youth at the Emmys this year. So many youths. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. oh. My eyes are like drawn in so many directions, but like first I see like a Cape Horseman situation, right? He's wearing a cape yeah. and riding boots. Yeah. I feel like they're mm. all gonna perform Hamilton at the Emmys, <laughs> you know? Like... Or some magic tricks. That one feels like a magician outfit. Plaid, I love plaid. You love plaid. I loved everything actually about this outfit. I was thinking of One Direction because I was remembering that one of the last award shows they attended as a band where Harry Styles wore the floral suit. Yes. And then Niall was wearing like checkers or like stripes or something. Yes. This is kind of giving me those kinds of vibes because they're like this group but they all have such like different styles individually, which you can see on their show, you know? So to see them all come in such different things and have it still work, it's like so, it's so awesome. This is fantastic. I think I want the groomsmen at my wedding to look like this. When I look at them, this is, this is the expression of the entire range of masculinity. You have classic masculinity, yes. you have gender bending, and this is not just a fashion choice, they make fashion statements. Who gave them permission to look this amazing? Like Karamo <laughs> looks like he's like Prince Charming just totally. off the horse. Literally, Ant Anthony is the greatest showman, but at the <laughs> Emmys. Like Tan just slaying in this structured pattern, like so British, you know? So Bobby gross. like in his blue, he just blends in like the color blue. And Jonathan, like with that statement purple, I mean the, I mean, the sheer top. Everything, the mustache, only Jonathan, the Pringles guy, and Tom Selleck can pull off that mustache. Talk about oh. like taking risks, but looking very fashionable and classy. These are all very adventurous outfits, but it works for the Emmys and probably everywhere. What I always love about groups is when they coordinate with each other and show up kind of looking different, but all collective. I don't feel like they look collective. I feel like they all look very individual. individual. But I think that was on purpose. I like the purple satchel. What, what? do you think's in oh, there? I didn't even see the satchel. He's got a merce. <gasps> Jonathan is everything. Our favorite look on the count of three. Okay. One, two. J what comes after two? <laughs> three, but I said on the count of three, but I. One, two, three, three name? Yeah, yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Joey, Joey King. King. Yes. yes. She looks so uh, beautiful, and honestly, like, I want it. I want to look like her and I want this dress. I think that is what happens when you pick your favorite. It's the one that you're most envious of. Jealous, yeah. jealousy, yep. The, all the Queer Eye guys just looked phenomenal. Um, Joey King, I feel like out of who we looked at, Joey King absolutely hands down his favorite. Okay, I'm gonna go with the guys of Queer Eye. Yes. Because Which one specifically do you have a fave? So Karamo and that equestrian sheet cape situation. Very Sherlock Holmes. Living for you. I'll come solve mysteries with you anytime you want. And then at JVN, Jonathan looking like my great aunt in the 1960s with that sheer moment. I'm obsessed with you. Anthony, oh my gosh, like he looks like a sexy nutcracker. Such a sexy nutcracker. With chrome shoes. Tan and the plaid and Bobby, that little like green look. You guys are all so handsome. Awesome. I think I have to give this one to the cast of Queer Eye. I do really do. Oh. They just look so good. And I mean, you would have to expect this because they're so well put together on their show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But like, this is to me the perfect Emmys outfit. It's everything. Ensemble times five. I love it. Okay, my faves weren't on the list, but I have to give a shout out to Jennifer Lewis who wore like a Nike get up. That was just, just goals. Dope. That was mm -hmm. goals. And then also Issa Rae, my queen. Mm -hmm. You look beautiful, girl. Okay, my favorite actually we didn't talk about, but it was Jessica Biel because mm. first of all, Justin Timberlake is the best accessory, but they literally looked like a wedding topper. Like that was Jessica Biel's best look. She wore like this white couture gown. I love Jessica Biel. Okay, my favorite was the cast of Queer Eye because when your fashion is actually making a statement mm -hmm. about gender, and about culture at large, I feel like you've won. You have won the red carpet. Well said, Miriam. Thank you. Um, I think everyone looked almost too good. I totally agree, but let's face it, it took about 4,000 people to get all these people ready, just like us. It's true. Let us know who your fave was in the comments below, and then come back for every award show, because we're here giving fashion opinions, even though we're wearing Forever 21. Love Forever 21. I don't know what I'm doing. Thanks for watching. Please click to the right to watch another new video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.